Hello guys and welcome to bush life, welcome to winter, things are getting pretty chilly out here now because um, today we're going to be planting a Carolina Reaper down here at the bush tent. Now there's a few simple steps we need to do first, because we need to cut the thing open, we need to get the seeds out, we need to do a few things to get the seed ready so they can germinate, but we're going to do that today and hopefully by tomorrow they should be ready for planting down here and behind me here we also got some mint growing down here now so that's a little new addition and as i said i want to turn this area here into a big garden area and we are beginning that today so let's get right into it we don't have too much sunlight left so we need to try to get things done fairly quick because i've got a few things that I do want to get done today. So let's get into it. All right, we have got a fair bit we need to do. Uh, I've brought a few other snacks. I got this big chili from my plant today. I'm just gonna put in a rice cracker. If you've been watching the series, you'll remember I've done this before. But what we need to do is we need to cut this in half, take a look at the seeds. So we need to get, um, a knife off of this, a relatively bigger one than that. Here we go. Just this one here looks like it'll do it. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, let's get careful. We're gonna cut ourselves. All right, so we'll use this little knife here, and obviously don't touch your eyes after doing this because it will hurt. I'm gonna cut that. Oh, we've got a bit there still. All right, so as you can see, those are our seeds right there. Those, oh, that's got a real strong smell to it. But those are what we want. Now what we want to do is we want to put them in some water, room temperature water, so we're talking about 35 Celsius, 40, 45, around that temperature. Now, this is still a bit too hot to put them in yet. So we're going to just leave this out and let it cool down for a bit. But what I'm going to be putting them in is this little jar that I had a bunch of candy in for my 16th birthday. And M&Ms were on it. But um, we're going to put the water in there once it's at the right temp. And then that's when we put the seeds in. Once the seeds are in, we've got to leave them for three hours and... The ones that have sunk to the bottom, those are the good ones. Any still floating, we want to discard those, we don't want to use those. Then we've got to let them dry, be completely dry before we plant them. And I'll show you where we're planting them in a second, but I've got some other stuff I want to showcase first. Now, was at my grandparents yesterday, and lucky me, I've got some plants here. I forgot the name of them, unfortunately. Um, I'll put it on a uh, put it on screen here if you're interested. But basically, with these plants, hold on, just a bit stuck in the bag. These plants here, we can attach them to a tree, and they will grow on the tree completely in the air. Isn't that cool? I thought it was cool. And um, there's another little one there that will just grow out of this one. This one I'm thinking of putting on this tree. And this one over on the pond, because it is a bit smaller, but obviously it will grow bigger. And fingers crossed it grows. I've brought some rope down, because obviously we're going to have to rope it on. So we're going to do that now. Uh, I'll just put this over in the bush tent, and we'll do this one first. Alright, I've got that rope that I got a while back from um, camping. If you watch my camping videos at all on my other channel, link in the description. Um... But, we'll just, oop, we want to cut this here. Should have used that knife, actually. I'll get the knife, that's probably more effective. Now, without cutting ourselves, let's carefully... There we go. And let's pull out the amount we should be needing. Right, this lot here should be more than enough for what I want doing. The 
video cut. Right, there we go. And let's go about. Yep. There we go. This should be enough. Yeah, it should be more than enough to hold it up. I want to put it relatively high up because otherwise the kangaroos and stuff they tend to have a nibble. Right. So what I'll do is we'll put it around like this. And where's that rope? There it is. Alright, there we go. That's nice and tight. Alright, good, good. Keep it nice and tight while we tie a knot at the back. Alright, there we go. Knot has been tied. It's not very tight though, so we'll work on that. Alright, there it is. I ain't the best at knots, as you probably just figured out considering that mess at the back, but yeah, here it is. That should grow really nicely up there on the tree, considering it grows, so fingers crossed. We'll put the other one on that one there, which, where'd I put the other one? That's right, it's in there. And hopefully the water's cooled and we can get to the chilies, we'll check out where we're planting them, all that stuff, so stay tuned. All right. I reckon about here yeah, should be nice. Yeah, that rope's a little bit uh, finicky. It doesn't tie into a knot very well, but... It appears we got the job done, so... Yeah, that's hopefully going to work. Alright, back to the chilies. Alright, water is still a bit hot, but I can put my fingers in it now, and it won't burn them off, so... I reckon they might they might be just at the right temperature to start putting them in, so I'm going to put the water in there, and now we're going to start extracting the seeds, so let's carefully, one by one, start plopping them in. That should be good enough amount. Oh. But um, here are the seeds. And they will stay there for another three hours. So we won't get around to planting them until tomorrow. But basically, once they're done here, um, you've got to leave them to dry until they're completely dry by themselves. You let them dry by themselves. And um, then we will put them into the soil. So now we're going to get the soil ready. And maybe plant our other chilli seeds as well that have been with us here for a week. We've been airing those out. Alright, so here we have our soil. We're just going to take our shovel out and give it a little dig up. And just see how far the water has been getting into it. And we want to, we want to, you know, break up the soil a bit. And uh, just so we, you know, it's all got good moisture circulation around in it. Because that's what we want. Push it all in those edges, because we want all that nice. In there, yeah, that's looking good. Now this um, soil we got going here, this is just from the base of a tree. I find the bases of the trees down here in the bush, they have the best soil to grow in. Because, um, all the roots under the tree, all that, like, it breaks the soil apart 
good soil. It's what we want. Everywhere else, it's a little bit eh, a bit hard. Stuff we don't really want, but this is good. This is what I grow everything in, and it, it works great. But um, obviously, if you're not doing this down the bush like me, you will probably put this away before it stabs me. But um, yeah, you, you know, potting mixture, all that stuff. Highly recommend that as well. That'll do just as good. And that's the soil looking pretty much done. I reckon I'll put another lot of water in there just to make sure it's nice and wet, ready for the seeds. And then it's just down to waiting for the seeds. And hopefully they grow. That's the last part, the last step. Hopefully they grow, because sometimes even when you do all the steps correctly, they seem to have their own plans. And we are in winter now, so anything's possible, anything's possible. But we'll get some water for that. We'll leave that for now. I'm going to take a quick little snack break. As I said, I brought some stuff down, so we'll check that out. And then we'll move on to those other plants. So let's do this now. I don't know if I'm game enough to take a little nibble out of this because I know it's going to be bloody hot. I just know. It's a Carolina Reaper for a reason. So we're just going to leave those all lovely there. And what I'm going to do, I've got a little cracker. As I said, if you've been watching the series for a while or you've seen my few, uh, past episodes, this will look familiar to you because I've done this before, except we don't have cheese on me today. But um, I got this fresh off the plant this morning back at the house. So fresh chili. Let's not get these two mixed up. And we'll put that right on the cracker. Lovely little snack. I enjoyed it last time and I'll enjoy it again. I just got to get the knife and cut it. Little knife should work just fine for the job. those on top oh yeah I can smell it I can smell the chili in there I keep all the seeds in I don't know about you guys you might prefer them out but for me because this the seeds are what give them the spice you know so I keep those in because I like my spice not that not that level of spice but just enough to give some flavor and a little bit of spice. This we will just chuck somewhere later. And um, just wipe that on my pants there. And we'll put them down. Yep, that is a good little meal to me. Highly recommend it. Now I'm going to eat this. Actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a nibble out of this because I reckon you guys probably want to see that. So I'm a little bit scared, but let's do this. <coughs> yeah, nah, nah, not happening. I didn't even take a, I didn't even start chewing that thing. And my mouth feels hotter. I just stuck that in my mouth and my mouth feels hotter than any other chili I've ever eaten. So we're not eating that. No. I don't really have anything down here. I think I need a whole tub of ice cream to eat that. Not happening. Oh, oh that already burns. Looks like I'm gonna have to wait on eating that for a while because, woo. Yeah, a bit hot. Don't feel like torturing myself today. Oh god, my lips are burning. I'm gonna get my water. Alright, here is the spot where I'm gonna be putting the chilies. And we've got our mint plant. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I got a bit of chili and cracker stuck in my throat there. But um, as I was saying, I've got the new mint plant here. Chilies will go here. I just need to do a bit with the soil. And we'll dig that tire into the ground. 
Uh, I'll do a bit of clearing off camera for this area just to get it all looking real nice for the um, plant. But uh, I'm going to go get the water for that now and just do a bit of here and then I will be back for the planting. So do stay tuned. All right, the tire is in. We've got our chilies. Which will go in here. So, there's quite a few. I'm going to use this. I'm going to put a few little holes in there for them to be planted in. That should be enough. I'm going to try to do two in each hole just in case one doesn't germinate or most don't germinate. So you never know. Alright. We've got our first two seeds going into the first hole. Right, they're in. Now to do the rest of them. Now I'll be honest, I don't know if any of these will actually grow, but you can always give them a chance and that's exactly what I'm doing. So now we've got to clean up our mess we made down here because we don't want to be leaving any rubbish and just pack up for the day and I'm probably going to have to take this down to the creek and wash all the water off it but I've done the walk many times it's nothing new and I will come down tomorrow and we'll plant that Carolina Reaper oh yeah that's that's quite the mess we got to clean up all right that's it for today. Um, do stay tuned because we'll come back down tomorrow um, and we'll plant those chilies. Uh, a few little announcements. I'm getting some, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm getting two little like couch like things to replace the pillows in the bush tent, so a little bit more cozy seating. And next episode. I'm going to hopefully be having beautiful partner and a friend over, which you might have briefly seen. He didn't really appear too much in episode 50, but he was there for the whole time. He just wasn't there as much on camera. But you might remember him as the foot documentary guy. Um, I'll play a little thing on screen. I've been left behind. Wild foot documentary. As you can see here, we have the wild what foot. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming a foot documentary. You get your musty, crusty camera out of my phone. No. But um, yeah, he he might be coming down as well, and we'll see if we can get some stuff down here done because he gave me a list of possible ideas I could do down here and. If you saw my community community post a while back, I I said I had a list, and that's exactly what's on the list. But I won't say what's on that list, because you guys will just have to stay tuned for that. And if you've watched this far into the video, you're watching some 16-year-old who's still in school plant Carolina Reapers, you may as well stick around. There's a big, fat, red, yummy button you can press. So why don't you give it a whack, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Plant those Reapers. Hey guys, I'm back for another day. Um, here we have um, our chili seeds, and I've got a new little box to store some stuff down here, which will be more important in the next episode, so we'll come to that later. But I've managed to save four of the seeds because uh, there's a bit of an accident that occurred, see? Now I'll tell you a little story. This happened probably about 20 minutes ago as well, but I was uh, up at the house and I we're splitting the seeds because I was going to have a few up at the house to grow in some potting soil and the other half were going to be here. 
And I went to spray the um the water. It's not sp <laughs> spray the soil to get it a bit wet before we planted the seeds. And I forgot that I left uh, this paper with all the seeds on it sitting next to it. And I unscrewed the nozzle and whoa, out came the water right onto the paper with all the seeds and they went everywhere. So I managed to get what I could. There's about five growing up there and four growing here. But uh, the us, the, the others lost to time. But uh, for that story, let's start planting. I'll put one in each corner. Give them a bit of room. Right, they're all covered up. So we'll water those and then sign off for today. All right, they've been watered and I've done everything I want to do today. We've got the Carolina uh, chilies planted. We did a bit of work on the garden area. We've got the tire room. We've got the other chilies planted. We got some soiling done. Um, Got new plants up here, and they're looking good. So, uh, did a fair bit of gardening today, but I love gardening, can't complain. Next episode, um, as far as I know, right now everything is planned to have Arrow and Beautiful Partner over, and we are planning to do quite a bit of fixing up around the bush tent, and more on that in the next episode, obviously. So, do stay tuned, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.